You ever uh, shake your baby? No, I never have. I never would ever think about doing it. You ever give uh, your kids black eyes? No, I've never done that either. And ever, I couldn't imagine. You ever whip them? I have whipped him. With what? My hand. Slap with and spanking? A tight, a, a lightly spanking. Like we it. all do, right? I've never been mad and spanked them. You were happy? No. You've never been mad at your kids? I get mad at my kids all the time now. The only time they've got a spanking is if they were in something that they weren't supposed to be doing or it would hurt them. How old's your oldest kid, uh, son now? How old is He's he? He's four. He's four. How's he doing? He's doing really good. How would you know? Because I keep up on him. I talk how? to my mom. You don't, do you, how often is that? Every day. You don't talk to her every day. I do. You don't. You just said you don't. I said I try to talk to my kids every day. Sometimes she's busy. Mm. But I do talk to my mom every so day. So you've never caused any injuries. Do you feel that you pick men over your children? No, I don't pick men over my children. Mm. How about the guy that went to jail for shaking your son? I didn't pick him over my child either. I'm not saying you did, but he, you left a guy that you knew for how long to watch your kids? How long did you know him? I've known him for almost a month. Almost a month. And you said, you can have the responsibility of watching my children. I regret it. Okay. Did you press charges? I wanted to. But why didn't you? Because the court did not keep up with it, and I've got The court emails. didn't keep up with it? They said, eh, we're too busy they with this? They never notified me whenever he had court. Why? Where were you? At work. I worked a lot. And they couldn't find you? I have emails. You didn't go and say, hey, what's, the, you know, police, what's happening with this guy that almost killed my son? I didn't know how to do any of you that. You didn't know how to do that? You didn't know how to do any of that? No, I didn't. You're, what, 25 years old? You do drugs? No, I don't. When's the last time you did drugs? Six months ago. What kind of drugs were you doing? The only thing I've ever done has been weed. What kind of drugs were you doing? Weed. Weed. This family member who said he smoked meth with you, you never did that? No, I didn't. Never? Not even I've never it? done it. I've never done anything other than weed. And how are, so they, are they doing now? It's a thousand percent better. A thousand percent better? Therapy, every, t every, every couple days they go to therapy. My nephew has use of his right hand now, which was completely paralyzed. Uh, your mother left us a voicemail. She couldn't be here today. Let's play that now. This is uh, Grandma. I have guardianship of all three children until they are 18. I will not give them back and put them in a position to where any of them will be abused ever again. If Amanda does not pass the lie detector test, I will cut off all contact. Amanda, I am your mom and I love you, but you are guilty of child neglect. Somebody abused him, not once, but twice. He has baby shaking syndrome because of your poor choices and leaving him with a boyfriend that you met online and now he had blood in his head because of your poor choices. You supposedly left him with another boyfriend while you went to a doctor's office. You better pass this test. I love you. You're these kids' mother. I am their guardian until they are 18. It is my place to see that these kids are taken care of 24-7, and they are safe 24-7. She fails the lie detector test. I will cut off all contact. you got to be feeling pretty confident that you're going to pass this lie detector test because you don't want your mother to cut off all contact with it, do you? No. No. I'll say this. I hope you pass the test. And being 25 years old, you can turn your life around. I have. No, you haven't. OK. Your kids are still very young. You could end up being a good mother, spending time with your kids instead of picking men. You're a pretty girl. You could have any man you want, you know, if you wanted to. But don't pick one and say, I'm picking you over my kids, which you have done. You don't need to do that. Pick your kids. All right, you came here. Uh, part of there's some accusations that you were doing drugs. Uh, you said you never really did any hard drugs. You were doing some marijuana, but you haven't done that in a long time, right? Okay. So you came here, we gave you a drug test, and you pass. You pass. Uh, good. That's good. No drugs in her system. And then we go on to give you the lie detector. Now we ask you, did you ever shake your oldest son? You answered no. You told the truth. Good. 
Did you ever witness anyone shake your oldest son? You answered no. You told the truth. <laughs> Did you ever witness anyone strike any of your children leaving marks or bruises? You answered no. You told the truth. <laughs> I have to ask you, I, I'm curious. This lie detector test we're giving you, this pretty accurate so far? Yes. It's very accurate? Accurate? Yes. Okay. Have you ever used any illegal drugs with any of your children present in the same room? You answered no. You did not tell the truth. Oh, I see. Did you ever strike any of your children leaving marks or bruises? You answered no. You did not tell the really? truth. Really? Really? I, I knew it. I've really? never hit my kids. No, no. Well, you did hit them. Right there says And you, you left did. marks and bruises. No, I've never done. Well, you did. I want to retake it. No. no. You just said it was accurate. How, why do you need to retake it if it's accurate? I've never hurt my kids. Cool. <laughs> the only thing I've ever done is think. Apparently cool. not. Okay. Uh, well, you know, I don't know what kind of drugs you were doing at the time, but I believe when you're uh, under the influence of drugs, you do things that you wouldn't normally wouldn't do, which I believe you did, okay? But this is, uh, again, um, what your mom wanted. I don't know if she's gonna cut you out of her life because of those two questions you failed, okay? Again, this is a, a no, listen, I don't wanna beat you up. I don't think Ray wants to beat you up. I don't think Brittany wants to beat you up. You know, I mean, I could be wrong. Oh, I'm heated. I know you're heated. Oh, I know you have all these bricks on your ass that you can't get off, and there's reason after reason why you're not there. You're six hours away. <laughs> won't help you. I had the opportunity. This and... I would move. Really? Well, well, what, your what, mom what, uh, when that opportunity is, what's it going to do? You're going to walk down the street. It's going to bite you in the ass. What's going to happen here? No, it wouldn't. I would work harder so I can have my kids back. What? How is anything in your life going to change unless you change it? How are you changing it? How are you changing it? I, You're not doing anything. You know what? I, I, I'm going to blast you right now, and I'm going to throw you off my stage, and I'm very fortunate I never have to deal with you again. Okay? Okay. But I don't wish you ill will going into the future. I hope that you do get your stuff together. I hope that you'll be a good mother for your kids so that your kids someday because believe me, they're young enough still where they can grow up and say, my mom was great. Yeah, she made mistakes, but she's great. She was a great mother. Right now, that's not happening. That is not in the future for you. And you know what? I, I, I do get sick of people in society now. Everybody's a victim. Nobody wants to take blame for their own actions and the predicament that they're in. The only person that's causing this situation is you. And the only one that can change it is you. And with that, you can get the hell off my stage. Yeah.